Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, today's video, not really about scrapping or kind of about scrapping, half scrapping and half just making a bit of money out of spare parts, I guess. Uh, I found this very, very nice Weber, Weber Q barbecue on the side of the road last week. I might have mentioned it in another video, I can't remember. How, how surprising. Um, and I thought I would use it for home. Uh, and all that was wrong with it, that I could see, was that the nozzle that connected up to the gas bottle was missing an O-ring. That's all I could see at the time. So I connected it up to uh, try it out. And, um, and uh, then I discovered, then I discovered, down here, the igniter was not there either. And uh, I thought, oh, well, this is no good. I'm just going to scrap it out because... I knew an O-ring was cheap. I think I'd even had some available to me, and uh, and uh, but the igniters. I looked it up. Um, they really don't like to sell spare parts in Australia, and uh, I'm sure if you look up the uh, Weber Australia website, um, no spare parts. You can ring them. You can have a chat to them. Uh, I'm told. I'm told that they will even send some out for free. Um, but anyway, uh, the only place I could see on eBay that you could buy an igniter from was from the USA and they were around about $50 Australian. And, um, and who knows how long that was going to take to get here. And I thought, no, I just won't bother. I'll scrap this out. And then for some reason, I decided to look at eBay and see how much secondhand spare parts were for these units. And I discovered, I discovered somebody out there that lives, I don't know, probably about 10 kilometres from where I live, is making a quite a nice um, business out of selling second-hand Weber barbecue parts. And uh, so I uh, removed a few items, which, there we are, we'll put them here. So I removed the uh, temperature gauge. Or the thermometer, if you want to call it that, and I tested that. I gave it a bit of a clean up, and because it was lovely stainless steel, it came up beautifully. Uh, but uh, there we go, thermometer. Uh, I removed that because um, he'd sold one only a couple of weeks back for I think thirty-five dollars. Posted, um, posted here in Australia for something like this is around about nine dollars fifty plus your envelope. Um, so let's call it. Let's call it ten dollars. So, uh, uh, and then take away the eBay fees. So that'd be, you know, we probably ended up with twenty dollars for it, I guess. Um, so there was that. Uh, the uh, the gas regulator unit. Um, even the handles. Even the handles are about twenty four dollars. This guy was selling the the knobs. He was selling them for twenty four bucks, but. This whole gas regulator unit, which has got a nice bit of brass in it, um, $37, I think he asked for that and sold it for. So, again, he would have got about $22, I guess, after um, postage costs and eBay fees. Um, and then the handle, the handle off the, uh, that way, that way, I don't know. But the handle off the, um, the hood, Twenty-four fifty. He asked for it, so um, so I thought, damn it, I will just put them on eBay. I'll give them a quick clean up. So I gave them a quick wash, put them on eBay. Here we are, twenty-four hours later, and this is why I decided to make a video now, after uh, after removing all these items rather than uh, yesterday. Um, twenty-four hours later, the handles just sold for twenty-four fifty. I just put a buy it now price on it. Um, I figured there wouldn't be a lot of competition. Maybe I was wrong, but uh, twenty-four fifty for that. So I will end up with around about twelve dollars in my hand for that one. Um, so that's pretty good. And uh, the other two are still for sale, and I'll finish this video off as they sell. As they sell, I'll add another extra bit to it. In the meantime, I'm trying to work out, and I think I might. Oh, also, these trays, the um, the drip tray, is worth. Uh, about $24 posted and um, 
I could sell that because when I cleaned it up I noticed it had a couple of pinholes in the bottom of it so of course we can't sell a drip tray with holes in it, that would be useless. Um, and the other thing I'm wondering about is the shelves, should I try and put them on eBay and I think I might pull it apart and give that a crack. Um, all the rest of it is on close inspection pretty rubbishy but uh, of course aluminium hood, aluminium under there I think. Wood's definitely aluminium, yeah, and the, the bottom's definitely aluminium, and um, and the grill is uh, cast iron or probably probably steel, not iron, steel. Um, so uh, so yeah, there's there'll be a little bit there, but uh, hopefully we will sell all those items, and I will come back as the other items sell with a bit of an update. See you then. So here we are uh, about three weeks later and uh, I've got a bit of a croaky voice because I went out last night because we're hooray hooray out of lockdown and um, I might have had more than one beer with some friends. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, the day after, the day after selling the handle, I managed to sell uh, the gas control regulator and uh, I netted... Uh, $24.61 after eBay fees and postage on that one. And uh, on the 29th of the 9th, that's uh, 29th of September, sold one of the shelves. And uh, on the 4th of October, sold a second shelf. And the net for those two was $31.16. Uh, that's $15.58 each. And then... Um, on the 11th of October, which was a few days back, uh, sold the temperature gauge. And uh, for that, I netted $18.76. Uh, I've still got a couple of handles on eBay. I get the feeling they're not going to sell. I've only got them up for $9 each plus postage. Um, I'll leave them there for you know, a bit and see what happens. But, um, you yeah, know, that's immaterial because... The end result of this one is that I netted $86.15 after eBay fees and postage. And I think that is an excellent result for something that I picked up off the side of the road and also managed to get a little bit of uh, value at the scrap metal dealers, probably around about $4 worth at the scrap metal dealers. And even the whole thing wouldn't have been much more than that. Uh, anyway, I just uh, hope you enjoyed this video. and. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.